Okay, so today I will be explaining uh, behaviors with vehicles and lazy chunks. So, first of all, you see this any chunk? I'm going to turn chunk loading off for myself. So, this is now a lazy chunk, as you see. So if I spawn a llama in this lazy chunk and pick it up with a cart in an enemy chunk, you think the llama gets picked up normally, but as you will see when we get to over here, and the carts aren't very fast, but as you can see there's no llama on it. Um, the cart has a llama linked to it. It's linked to the cart, but the cart itself does not have the llama. The llama is still back where it was picked up in lazy chunks. So for instance, I can like collide with it and excel that llama right now. And if I go back over here and kill the cart, the cart will TP the llama from over there to right over here. So as you see, it gets teleported. Now a secondary, more interesting use of this is creating ticking um, and non-ticking entities and entity processing chunks. So if I do that, this llama now gets desynced off the cart and brought into an entity processing chunk. Since, and this llama is linked to this cart. And because of that, the llama's tick is dependent on the cart's tick. But if the cart's not ticking, the llama can't tick either. So if the tick were let the llama get brought over here, and we turn the tick work off, break the flying machine, and then reload it client side. You'll see there's a llama here, and this llama is not ticking, so I can collide with it. You can burn it, it won't do anything. Um, you can mount it. This is a, now a ghost player over here, so I'm still over here. Um, another use is I can, for instance, blow this card up. If I cover all the other spots, or if I just kill it. Llama appear right here. So now, a another use or a practical use of this is this cannon, where we blow up the cart, teleporting the llama here, and lag it at the same time so the player can mount the llama. Um, this causes an issue where you create a lazy linked player. Um, I'll show that when I actually have it happen. So if we go to the end of this portal loading line, you will see uh, these golems, and then two bombers and two carts. If I hit this note block, It'll trigger this portal loader. These chunks will load. And then llamas get pushed into lazy chunks and then picked up by these cards. Then piss and bolted that way. Now if I reload this area client side and come back, you'll see llamas are right here colliding. So I get their data of their motion, for instance. Let's see, it's at 11,000, which means they move 11,000 blocks in one game tick. So if I then move the llama, now collides with the other side of the golems, gets momentum this way. Now if I turn it all off, The llama now gets conveyed in border chunks, and then this portal loader gets turned off and unloads the llama. The reason for this is the cart will send packets of the llama instantly instead of after a few game ticks if you unload the llama. So now if we go to the end of the piston bolt, you 
see the cards. I can jump them back on and separate the cards. Oh, that's not good. Let me shut them. Get them out and separate them. You can now see if I trigger it. I'm now a lazy linked player, so I'm a ghost player right now. Items get thrown over there, I can still place blocks. But I have a range, for instance, can't place blocks to where that player couldn't place blocks. Now if I trigger it again... The cannon works. And I get shot away. Now, another use of this is a world border cannon, for instance. So, if I TP this guy over here, we're now loading the cannon itself. This cannon is 900 boats, separated in two stacks of 450. And then we pretty much do the same thing, get two llamas. We use a piston to desync them off the cart into lazy chunks. And then we get the carts out, separate them with an EID sorter, and then um, they get put on a waiting thing. Um, this hopper clock should be turned off, but uh, it's supposed to have four stacks in it, and this uh, thing of T flip flops needs to be just a flat wall. These boats are aligned against a conduit. Um, which is aligned against anvils, two sea pickles, chest, and then these are supported by soul sand. So now let's actually trigger it. I'm going to turn chunk loading off for myself. And I'm going to flip the switch. Uh, this is designed for render distance 16. You'll see the llamas, they do take some entity cramming. And then they are separated with the ID sort of. And they are put in this little waiting spot. If we get their data, let's see they are being excelled, and if we fly away, and then look in. So as you can see, you can see the llamas. They're right there. Um, they're colliding with the boats. You can see their hitbox are intersecting. Um, and the total time they need to collide to get you to the world border, which this clock is, is about an hour, if you have the same amount of boats. So I'm gonna stop it early, because we're not actually gonna wait an hour. So I'm just gonna hit that and it should stop it. Now the llamas are, um, I deleted all their momentum on the Z-axis, and now they're only going this way up and, uh, they go up one block per tick to this side one block per tick and over here um, quite a lot of blocks per tick that's uh, how the cannon works now once I fly back over here I have to turn chunk loading back on as well as we have to unload the chunk that the cannon that the llamas are in so the llamas are currently in this very chunk, so if I turn that on, you can see that chunk. We now have to teleport this player over here. You can see that chunk's now a border chunk, but it will become unloaded in a little bit. Hold on. So it's now an unloaded chunk. And now the cannon's ready to be used. So the way this works, it kills them with TNT the same way I already showed. But we use lag created in the tile energy phase using dust. Um, so if I just use this, we'll see. Mount that on, and then you mount the second one and it shoots you off. Uh, 
as you can see they do take a decent amount of damage but if you have average health llamas they will survive or you can heal them um, while they're entity cramming but you don't have to do that so this probably would have taken me to about 600k blocks but I'm gonna stop it early there's no world gen here it's very weird but yeah that's uh how those mechanics work. 